In this video, we are going to study how we will control the temperature after the construction of gravity dam. The gravity dam is constructed by concrete and we know that concrete has a tendency to or concrete is a good in a compression zone. So because of the temperature changes, uh, how this concrete will shrink and how this uh, concrete will expand uh, and further while this temperature changes affects the life of a gravity tank. So in this video we are going to study how we are going to control the temperature in gravity dam. So if proper temperature control is not exercised, the large concrete block between the joints may crack due to high temperature gradient between the interior and the surface. These large blocks of concrete are subject to deep as well as surface cracking. The cracks in the interior of the blocks are produced due to the heat of hydration liberated by cement thus giving rise to high temperature gradient. So as we know that the construction of the gravity dam has been done by the material that is a concrete as well as the construction is uh, completely done with the help of a machinery also. But uh, in recent uh, studies, the gravity dam construction will be done by the concrete only. So here, if we uh, don't exercise and we, if we uh, avoid the temperature control uh, in the gravity dam, then what happens? The large uh, this uh, gravity dam has been constructed uh, in a part, partly partly zone or in a various zone. So because of this zone and because of there is a joints in between the two concrete blocks, the crack will be occurred in between these joints because of the high temperature gradient between the surface of the gravity dam and interior part of the gravity dam. So to avoid this, we have to study, we have to analyze the control of a temperature which is lead to the cracking in a gravity dam. So the surface cracks may appear due to daily variations of the temperature at the surfaces. As we had already discussed that because of the temperature changes and the variations in a temperature, the cracks will be occur on the surface of the dam. The surface cracks are more harmful since the disintegration starts through them by wedge action. See, because of this cracks, the water will get seeped into the body of the dam as well as in the foundation of the dam also. And uh, we had already seen that the uplifted pressure and the water which exists, the pressure in the upward direction which leads to fail the dam in a short period that cracks, hence because of this reason, the cracks are more harmful. The water eating these surface cracks accumulates there and then solidifies. The ice so form begin to expand at 4 degrees Celsius, resulting in widening and deepening of the cracks. If our dam is in a uh, ice area and if the in a low temperature area, then what happens the, after the uh, exerting or after the ice bursting, this ice expands slowly, slowly as the temperature changes. Okay, so because of this expansion of a ice, the pressure will exert and pressure exerted on the surface of the uh, surface of the dam as well as on the surface of a crack section of a gravity dam. So because of this temperature variation, the cracks will deepen, uh, deepen, and uh, this lead to the fail of a gravity dam. So following are some of methods employed to check or minimize the development of cracks in a mass of a concrete. So the first one is the pre-cooling of a concrete. How we will control that temperature? The first method is to pre-cool the concrete. How? See, the concrete is pre-cooled before it is placed in the dam. 
This is accomplished by cooling the aggregate by refrigerated water or blowing air through them, cooling of a sand and using a refrigerated water for the manufacture of a concrete. So best way that is pre-cool before taking that aggregates, before taking that ingredients to uh, construction uh, of the gravity dam. Before using that material, you have to cool that material. You have to cool the aggregates before the construction by using the refrigerated water. You have to blow the air. You have to pass the blowing air through them. As well as you have to cool the sand uh, by using the refrigerated water. So, whole the manufacturing process of a concrete will be done by the refrigerated water so that the temperature of the concrete will be lowered, lowered down and will be controlled properly. So all these involves high cost of preparing the concrete. Obviously, if you are dam region and if you, if you want to construct the dam in a high temperature zone. So basically, uh, whenever uh, you keep the, you, uh, if you, you will keep the water in the refrigerator after some period and after some minutes of a period, the water will get heated because of the high temperature area. So, uh, in this reason, you have to buy, you have to carry the refrigerated water, you have to keep that water in a cold manner. So, for this purpose, you require the high cost. So, here, the uh, this process involves the high cost for the preparing preparation of the concrete so basically uh, the uh, where the budget is too high and the uh, extra amount of the uh, uh, what do you say the extra amount of will be paid and will be given for such a cooling condition for such a uh, method so and so and uh, after and after that only you can uh, use and you can follow this method for pre cool the concrete Next method is the post cooling of a concrete. The post cooling is achieved by circulating refrigerated water through pipes embedded in concrete in each lift. So lift uh, in previous slide, in previous video, you had uh, understood that what is exactly lift. Lift is a vertical portion so, so that we can pass and you, we can circulate or we can uh, move from one, uh, one passage or one floor to another floor. So in each lift uh, that the concrete uh, that will be uh, poured down and uh, which is used for the construction of a dam, that part, that part will be uh, cooled down by circulating refrigerated water through the pipes which is embedded in the concrete. So already the pipes which, which are embedded in this concrete. So for the cooling purpose, we are uh, passing the refrigerated water through this pipe. The cooling is begun immediately after a block is laid and is continued till the mass temperature falls to the mean annual temperature of the locality. So uh, when we uh, we are following and we when we are uh, allowing this refrigerated water to flow through this pipe, when uh, after immediately the block is let down, the pipe through this pipe, the refrigerated water will be allowed to pass, and then the uh, until the mass uh, until the temperature of this uh, mass temperature of this concrete will fall down up to the mean annual temperature of the local area. So for this, for the purpose of circulating cool water, the theme vault turbine 2.5 cm outside diameter and 250 meter long joint with expansion coupling are made into coils and are placed in the middle of each lift. The horizontal spacing of this tubing may be between 0.5 to 2 meter and the velocity of flow is kept more than 60 cm per second.
so the resistance thermometers are uh, embedded in concrete to ascertain the temperature so for the checking out the temperature whether the temperature of the mass of a concrete block uh is equal to and it is constant and it is uh, properly equal to the local mean annual temperature so for checking out this we are embedded and we are uh, allowing to lay down allowing to uh, pour the resistance thermometers in each lip and in each section to check out the temperature so using a uh, low heat cement uh, we are using for this purpose low heat is it is not a to it is a low heat cement which are we are going to use for the construction and which are we, uh, for the uh, construction of a gravity dam so using lower percentage of uh, cement in the concrete for the interior of the blocks uh see about 80% of that for the exterior purpose restricting the height of a lift uh, we are restricting the lift uh, height it is up to the 1.5 meters uh, we are allowing the considerable time between laying of two successive vertical lifts these are the methods we can say the usual time is about 4 days the laying time uh, and the laying of a two considerable vertical lifts the proper time will be kept about uh, and kept at a uh, 4 days only providing contraction joints at a suitable spacing so by uh, the joints will be provided uh, or uh, in between the that portion so the suitable spacing will be provided in between each contraction joints so these are the methods after following this method we should control that temperature uh, after the completion of a construction of a gravity dam thanks for watching this video